Earlier tonight, earlier tonight, I, I, I'm, I'm going to write to you. Earlier tonight, Senator Rubio said uh, that he supported the notion of, of raising the legal purchasing age from 18 to 21 uh, for semi-automatic weapons. Um, that is not the position of the NRA. Uh, why is it not your position? Well, it's not the position of the NRA because I think that if we're, we are asking young men and women to, to go and serve their country, that they should be able to also have a firearm. I'm also thinking of young women. There's, there is a military exemption. There is a military true, exemption. True, true. But in, with specifically where it relates to long guns, uh, because it's 21 for handguns, 18 for long guns. But I also think of young women, and you've had a previous town hall where you spoke with a young woman named Kim Corbin, who was a college student who was brutally raped in her dorm, and she was under the age of 21. And one of the things that she speaks out about loudly now is how she wished she would have had the ability to be able to have some a shotgun, whatever it was, to be able to defend herself. I was 20 years old when I lived on my own. I didn't live with my parents when I was 20. I lived on my own when I was 20 years old. And I didn't, well, not at first, but I, I mean, I had a shotgun. But I think that we have to take that into consideration. We have to think about individuals. I mean, if you're, if you're old enough to, to vote, you're old enough to drive a car, you're old enough to serve your country, I think that you are old enough if, now here's the caveat, if anyone wants to listen to the caveat. The caveat though, Jake, and for everybody out there, is if you are not a danger to yourself or others. That's what it comes back to. If you are not a threat to yourself or your community, that is what it comes back to. Hey, Chris, you're I